Valentine, my bloody Valentine, my bloody Valentine. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, my name is Tere. To my reaction to Phineas Blood Harmony. I haven't really gotten to it yet, so I decided I'm gonna just do it and see what this sounds like. Track one, I lost a friend. Lost a friend. Like wow, we opened it with a ballad? Hmm. I lost a friend. Like sleep. I've noticed this also about him and Billy is that like they're not afraid to go like right up to a microphone and you can hear the while they are singing. I think it brings so much more emotion. Ooh, I, I already got chills. The lyrics are oh my god. I think he was talking about like keys in a sofa. Like come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Ooh. There was a little bit of static there. Okay, I feel like it's it's gonna be something bigger than this just piano. Believes me, say I know that he don't need me. He made a little too much money to be 20 and sad. Ain't that true? I feel like a lot of people who do have a lot of money are the saddest people and the ones we need to check on kind of the most. Because all because you made this money doesn't mean your problems go away. But all I do is write about him. Mm. How the hell did I lose a friend I never had? Ooh. That background. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a static. It's like a loss of, it's like a loss of connection. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh man, honey. This hurts, this hurts bad. Like I'm pulling all the stitches out of my own face. It's like I'm pulling out the stitches on my own face. Oh my God. Ooh. Is it building? It's like we crashed into somewhere. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 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 Bring in the auto tune. I can't. That hit me in the feels. If you ever had a friend, losing a friend sucks. It really does. In my young heart. Oh, Ture, it's okay. Ah, oh, why'd you have to do that to me? I don't wanna. Oh. Track two, shelter. Ooh. Giddy. There's no one nowhere else that I'd rather be than with. Mm. Facts. Hey. Okay, okay. Give me some Ed Sheeran. Give me some Ed Sheeran vibes. I love it. I appreciate it. Give me more. Give me, give me from the store. I love how his voice is like. I don't even know how to, it's like s subtle in some areas and then like the way he just did that, his voice went higher than the music. So I could hear it more. Okay. It's fun. I see you. I don't wanna think about it all about you. <laughs> me neither. Give me, give me shelter from the storm. This is a next note that oh 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 
I have to hear it again. Please do it again. Please do it again. Do not tease me. Don't do it. Not now. Let. Okay, I really, really like that track. The message was on point. Just being in that, in a relationship with another person, that's your shelter. They keep you whole, they keep you warm. <sighs> Sorry, I it has so many Ed Sheeran vibes, but then even the background was just Phineas. Oh my gosh. Like, it's so interesting how the first track was so like pierced me in the heart it hurt it hurt and then this track is like but i i think that's also with billy stuff as well it makes me bad guy and then like all the good girls go to him like it's fine give me two separate emotions i dig it let's do this Woo. Oh. Ah! Track three, Lost My Mind. He did say he kind of lost his mind in the very first track, I Lost a Friend. So is he literally losing his mind or is he like... Hmm. Thank you. That's how everybody describes me. So thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'll go back to the song. Hear the voice saying, come back to bed. Mm -hmm. Maybe your head half as often as you on my mind. Mm -hmm. in my head, I must have lost my mind. Mm -hmm. Tired to get it. Lying. Get it. Get it. Get it. Maybe your head half as often as you on my mind. Ooh, it's building. I love that. There's an empty space beside me and I'll keep it there until you're here. So like, even though he's saying like, I lost my mind, sometimes I want to forget what happened. I can't forget what happened. And there's still hope that you'll be here. Oh, and now there's a different face beside me. God damn. Am I in your head? Half as often as you want my mind. Ooh. If I don't make sense, please forgive me. I can't sleep at night. Oh, such a deep track. Oh, coming out with the deep cuts now. Oh, Lost My Mind has so many layers to it. I feel like with just the production wise, you can feel it like just ramping up of like somebody who is displaced in a way. This person literally cannot get this other person off their mind no matter how hard they try. And there's just sometimes there's a sliver of hope, but at the same time, they can't go to bed alone. They can't, but like they want you and they can't. But even on a personal note with that, like I had really bad insomnia and every single time like I would think of something, I would obsess about it. And like it, it would be about dumb stuff, about like school, about everything I've done wrong. I would like message these people out of the blue. It happened all the time when I was a little, little kid. And I, I think that literally is the definition of losing kind of your mind a little bit of remembering those things and being like, hey, I'm so sorry I did that. And they're like, what the hell are you talking about? Like they have no recollection of it, but memories are, can be so embedded into who you are as a human being. So, I really like Lost My Mind. Even with my interpretation of it and a relationship interpretation of it, because I'm pretty sure he wanted a relationship interpretation, but 
it's nice that it has multiple meanings and it can reach a broad like, audience on that. Track four, I don't miss you at all. Uh, I used to be such a fan of Scott Fitzgerald. Um, the Great Gatsby is one of my favorite books ever since I read it in like high school. And then like the movie came out while we were reading it and I was like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> but I always find every single time I go back to that book, a bigger appreciation for it. I, that's just me. I'm a really big book reader in case anybody cared. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I love those lyrics of that, of some taking something classic and then putting it on something new. I'm a fan. <laughs> Down at 2 a.m. and cold. Cause I don't. And then we come in with this again. I'm sleeping fine. I only dream about you once or twice a night. Most and it feels so good. Do I want to crash the car? But I won't. <laughs> Uh, I love that song so much. I have such an appreciation for, and I've said this before, if you see um, uh, my Yes or Next video when I first previewed this song, Billy and Phineas always say things that I feel like I cannot. Like, I want to crash the car, but I won't. My Boy by Billy. She's like, go trip on the knife. Like, literally. Oh, thank you for always capturing what I feel and how I feel it. Thank you. All right, track five, Partners in Crime. <laughs> Wholesome guitar playing right there. Mm. This also sounds like the beginning of a movie, like some Love, Simon, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Just saying, putting that out there. Any movies that are coming out, this might be a song to put on the... Just saying. I I'm just going to throw that out there. I feel like uh, there are so many songs that could have been put in TV shows and there wasn't. I will never stop saying that Billie Eilish's song, You Should See Me in the Crown, could have been the trailer for Game of Thrones and y'all missed it. I'm just saying. It's a perfect representation. Sorry, I get really heated. But just saying, this song could be on a movie. I'll comment down. <laughs> I'm strung out on coke. You said uh, she's strung out on coke. You mean Coca Cola? This is giving me such the 1975 Roberts vibes. Like I can see that music video and this song just like oh, the the way he just described it. You're sitting in a shower and I'm washing your clothes. Like oh or a Nicholas Sparks movie. This would be really really perfect for a Nicholas Sparks movie. Sorry, I'm done with movies. Let me just. And I should listen, but I'm misunderstood. Ah, it's so interesting to me how I'm finishing his sentences. For that, like, that's some really good songwriting. If I, I, I already kind of know what this end of this lyric's gonna be. Oof. And when the cups broke down, our door, and held us both against. I'm so invested in this like story. Like I'm listening to every single word that is just like being said and I'm like What was that? Oh my gosh, that Oh 
my god. <laughs> Phineas, if you ever watch this video, please make a video for this. <laughs> I know it might not ever be a video, but I would love to see this depicted. I, I can't express how much I love that song from the production to it, it just adding more to the story. Like I became invested in these two. I wanted more and then it ended. And then I was, uh, where do they go from here? I, oh man, I love that track. I love that track. Track six, let's fall in love for the night. I would also like to say this is the only track on this album that has a swale. Let's fall in love for the night and forget in the morning. Okay. Boy, that you boy, I hope that you would avoid. Don't waste your eyes on jealous guys, fuck that noise. I <laughs> this just makes me feel good. It makes me feel so. Okay. Hey. Slide in that voice. Oh. I love it when you talk the nerdy shit. Hey. He said, I love you when you talk that nerdy shit. I feel appreciated. Don't you, don't you laugh. <laughs> oh, let's fall in love for the night. I fell in love with that song. If you guys don't know by my reaction, my mouth is dry now. <laughs> I fell in love with that song. Um, That's enough said. Oh my gosh. You're still here. <laughs> Track number seven, Die Alone. Am I ready for this? I also noticed that this is the longest track on the album, so. <laughs> for some reason, I got like, just from the beginning with like the ambulances and the fire trucks and things like that. I got Billy's Listen Before I Go and I'm like, that song made me cry. Please don't. You asked me, do you want to die alone? Mm. Cause I Oh! 
Oh, the way he just did sky. Oh. Stay by your side in the afterglow. Oh. The way all the vocals just hit me at once. And I'll stay by your side in the afterglow. Taylor Swift? Afterglow? I could stay in this production forever. Just just listen to this production. In my cup, it comes in flashes. But when it passes and I see you rise, I know. Was that a car crash? Hit that note. I loved that line at the end. I wasn't looking for you, but you found me. Oh, okay. Time for final thoughts on this album. I have no tracks that I do not love. None whatsoever. Uh, I lost a friend. The message is there. It really built what was coming in the album, I feel like. Shelter, such a beautiful track with I, this person is your shelter. And, oh, sorry, I can't even talk right now. I'm so blown away by this. I, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, Lost my mind, made me feel things and maybe look inwardly a little bit than I kind of wanted. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't miss you at all. Mm. My jam. Uh, Partners in Crime. I'm invested in the storyline. Um, I need a music video. Uh, j just put it out there in the universe to hear me, please. Also, I feel like that song would be perfect for a movie. Just saying. Um, Let's Fall in Love for the Night. Mm, I fell in love with him a little bit. I'm like, what? And uh, Die Alone, I kind of just summed up the album really, really well. Um, I'm not going to lie. Die Alone, I thought was going to be more dramatic, but I really, really like his vocals in there. And that is also something that I'm really, really like fighting about is that he produces such good work, but I feel like his work is so un like underrated compared to Billy's and that's very interesting to me because I feel like they're they both have such production skills but his singing is the same as hers like like it's very even oh and I didn't know that at all about his singing ability so if you haven't listened to Blood Harmony Go listen to it. It is it is a bop. It is a journey. It is a ride. And it will take you there. And I love I love when music can make me think about my past, think about just my life in general and make me take a really good hard look at myself a little bit and reminisce about my past. It sucks because I don't like it, but it's something I think that's a little bit necessary. That is it. Thank you for watching my reaction. As usual, if you would like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. I make new videos every week. It's been a journey so far, but I, I'm i really excited for the music that's coming out. It's been a really good year. Somebody wrote that in my comments too. It's been a really good year of music. And I'm like, 
And also below, as normal, my social media is down there. If you ever want to snap me, uh, if you're listening to a new album, if you ever want to add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram, Follow me on Instagram, that's that's the term, follow, <laughs> or just hit me up on Twitter. I'm excited to see what you guys are listening to. I, I'm trying to get to everybody's recommendations, but right now I'm just trying to get enough subscribers to make this channel keep going, and then I'll have more free time to like get to everybody's recommendations because I know you guys have a lot and you guys keep referring me new recommendations and I appreciate it so much there's so much I want to do with the channel it's just so little time but trust me I, if I could do this 24 7 I would oh what would I be like 24 7 if I just did albums oh. <laughs> all right I'll see you guys later thank you for watching I appreciate it bye